want to go ahead. Oh my God, when they told me the borders are closing, I thought, well, now I'm going to have to hop to it and get back from Florida right to here. Because I'll tell you the truth, if I happened to have a tickle in my throat at all, they'd build a casket around me down there because I couldn't afford anything else. And God bless old Canada is what I say. I was never so pleased to see a beaver in all my life. Not that I saw a beaver, but you know my point. I don't know what the beavers are doing. They're probably hibernating. I don't know. Certainly, given our weather, they could be up to anything. We just don't know these details, and nor do I want to. The point is now, my friend dropped off my car to the airport, and with a trunk full of groceries, certainly. I'm in self-isolation. Quarantine, I think they're calling it. Well, I, well, this is why I'm wearing the stripes, isn't it? <laughs> I thought, person. Anyway, I thought, you know what? I'm going to send out a little video because I know some of you are wondering what's happening with me. I went through all the groceries, certainly, and a friend of mine dropped a few more down to the gate. I had knocked the dog down to get them, certainly. And God, thank God, I have a bag of Sally Vin now, and I'm almost through those, and a nice Pepsi to get me through the day because I don't have any cable. I thought in my wisdom, you know, what I'd do is I'd just spend that for a couple of months and save a few bucks because I thought I'd be down until June. Came back and they thought, you know, no, you know, we'll hook it up in three weeks time. I said, what was I so hasty for giving away the VHS? This is what I don't understand. The point is, darlings, be safe. Keep your distance. That'll be no trouble for me unless someone's coming in through the roof. And always be kind to one another. And we will get through it all. And hard times come again no more. God bless you. Send food.